享。Guys, so today we're gonna cover grade nine biology, and we're gonna cover one topic, which is ecology. Okay, so based on previous lessons, what is the definition of ecology? So looking at this diagram picture below, you you can see the fish, dragonflies, some insects and bird snail, those living organisms, right? But you can also see a biotic factor, which is water, air, and your soil. So basically the ecology is the study of organisms and their interactions with each other and the environment. And when we say environment, we're referring all the living and non-living things that exist on Earth in certain space. Okay, so back to the diagram up here. There are a lot of living and non-living things you can find from the diagram, right? And from this, you can tell, you can see there's a biodiversity in this specific environment. So when we say uh, biodiversity, we're referring to the number of different types of organisms in one area. Okay, so in ecology, we're basically investigating how environmental factors like biotic or abiotic, which we'll talk later, affect individual organisms in one environment or in one area. Okay, so we're going to move on to this new topic. So in ecology, we have two different factors, which are abiotic and biotic. And when we say abiotic, what can you think of? Yeah, not something biological. So there's, there's a thing that doesn't have a life, so non-living factors. So we can say some sunlight or temperature, your soil, water, like air, oxygen or carbon dioxide, like pollution, and etc. And when you say biotic, we're referring living factors, like humans, or your puppies at your home, or your cat, or like lion, even plant, bacteria, and so on. Okay, so let's look at this diagram. A biotic, and biotic factor. We have a lion, which is predator. We'll talk about it later. And you can also say bacteria can be a biotic factor or food or grass. For abiotic, we have a light or sunlight, temperature, pressure, or some pollution like chemical pollution or some moisture, weather, and so on. All right, so, now we're gonna learn the types, different types of organisms based on ways which they obtain their nutrient and energy. And when we say nutrient energy, we're talking about food. Okay, so we can divide every all single organism into two which are producers and consumers so when we say producers we're referring organisms that use sunlight or some other like sources to make their own food for example for plants or algae in from the ocean or lake they use sunlight to make their own food. They're a process called photosynthesis. So basically they're using sunlight, water, the soil to make more, to produce more oxygen and yes. What about the consumer? For the consumer, 
we're referring um, some organisms that must eat other organisms as a source of nutrients. So uh, as we human, we're also consumers in the food chain. Or some deer, deer take plants or off for meat and so on. Okay, so why don't we do some practice question? Which organism is producer or consumer? Okay, so here we see our little plants. This is a rat and a snake and a hawk. Okay, so referring back to the definition of producers and consumers, the plants. The plants can use this sunlight and make their own food, right? So this is why the plants is producer. Great. What about the rat? Yeah. The rat can eat like insect or like plants or like other organisms basically, right? So the rat is consumer. What about the snake? Snake also mm -hmm, put on the rat or other organisms. So snake is also consumer. And what about the hawk? Yes, hawk is also consumer because it's fit on other organisms. Okay, great. So let's move on to subtypes of consumer. As you see from the practice question, there are a lot of variety of consumers, right? And we're going to learn how to differentiate the subtypes. Okay, so we're going to start with herbivores. The herbivores basically they consume only producers, which is plant or archaea. Okay, can you think of some examples of herbivore? Yep, deer, mm -hmm. or rabbit, yep, and so on, right? So it's any animals or any organism that fit on the plant, algae, yeah, which is producers. Okay, what about carnivores? Yeah, carnivores, they consume only animals, or you can say meat. All right, so what are these some examples of carnivores? Yeah, oaf, mm -hmm. or like lion, yeah. And yeah, so on, you can think of many, right? Okay. What about omnivores? Omnivores, unlike herbivore and carnivore, omnivores, they consume both plants and animals. Yeah, so they're pretty much balanced in that, right? Okay, so for example, as human, we eat plants and we also eat meat, right? So we are an example of omnivores. And there are also bears. There is fruits, plants, and meat. So bears are also example of omnivores. Okay. Let's move on to predators. So unlike these three, herbivore, carnivore, omnivore, they depend on the food they consume, right? But for the predator. When we say predator, it means the organism which hunt for their live animal food. So predator, they hunt for their food. And this food is called as prey. Okay, so going back to practice question up there. If we say this hawk is predator, what is the prey of this hawk? Great, snake, snake, because hawk can't fit on a snake, right? What about the prey of the snake? Okay, rat, because snake can fit on rat, okay? So we can say snake is a predator of rat. Okay, moving back. What is scavengers? 
scavengers as organisms who consume the remains of dead animals. So they remain, they take a nutrient from dead bodies of animals. So for example, raccoons, yeah, raccoons they look cute, but yeah, they feed on dead animals. And they're called as scavengers. All right, what about parasite? Parasite, they also feed on like other animals, but they live or live on or in another organism. And they take all the nutrients from those organisms from their host. So when we say host, we're referring to animal where the parasite fit on. For example, pigs. So there are a lot of like ticks in the garden, in the grass, in greens during the summer, right? So these ticks can live on like host mammal, like dog, like cats, or even human, and they feed on like host blood. So this is the example of parasite. What about detritivores? Okay, when we say detritivores, we're referring to consumers that feed on organic matter, like the remains of that organism or the animal waste. So, what are some examples of detritivores then? Yeah, like earthworms mm -hmm, or even maggots from like dead bodies, right? Okay, let's move to decomposers then. What is decomposers? Decomposers is a group of special consumers which do not consume matter directly. So unlike the other subtype of consumer right here, the decomposer, they do not, they do not consume matter directly, but they Rather, release special chemicals into the soil which break down any organic matter. Then, they absorb the nutrients that are released into the soil. So, they somehow consume the matter organic like nutrient indirectly through the soil. Okay. And this is the thing. The decomposer, they also play a very special role in an ecosystem. Because, you know, like the special chemical they release into the soil, they help release and train back into the ecosystem, and also they allow matter to be continuously recycled. So what are some examples of the composers then? Yeah, like fungi, bacteria, like when you walk in the trail, you'll see the of fungi on the trees, like old, like that's trees, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's move on to practice question. Determine each subtype of consumers for the following organisms. Okay, the first, very first one is bear. Yeah, so what does bear fit on? Bear consume, yeah, fruit, like plants, or even like meat, like other animals. Okay, so we know bear is both plants, or fruit, and animals, right? So what kind of consumers? Mm -hmm. All right, so bear is omnivorous. Okay, great. So bear is omnivorous. I'm going to write O. All right, what about for a raccoon? This cute raccoon. Yeah, great. So raccoon consume the remains of dead animals. So raccoon is scavengers. Raccoon is scavengers, okay. What about for a rabbit? Rabbit, yeah, rabbit fits on the plant, flower. So rabbit is herbivores, right? Okay, I'm gonna write H. What about, hmm, what about mushroom? Okay, yeah, mushroom fit on the trees. 
yeah so they basically they release some chemical into the soil mm -hmm, and which break down the that trees and that's where they are grown from right okay so the mushroom is decomposers i'm gonna write d c for decomposers all right what about tita right here yeah very obvious they fit on animals meat so carnivores okay so this was a demo lesson for grade nine biology so it called chapter so i hope you guys have fun all right thank you Thank you.